Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and to a very belated Inktober video. I've been on a bit of a hiatus from YouTube the past few months, but I'm very excited to be back with this video. If you don't know, Inktober is a month-long art challenge where you create one ink drawing a day throughout the month of October, following a set list of prompts. Now, I decided to do things a bit differently in that I made my own list of prompts inspired by the Victorian period. However, it turns out that doing a painting a day right in the middle of conference season was not the best idea, and I only managed to complete five of my prompts. But fortunately, I'm really happy with how these pieces turned out, and I'm very excited to share them with you today. So. For this video, I'm going to explain a bit about the prompt and the process behind each piece alongside a time lapse. The first prompt I chose was theater. For this one, I knew I wanted to draw a pair of vintage opera glasses that I own. They used to belong to my aunt and were actually made in the USSR, which is really cool. Anyway, I used those as a reference and then I decided to embed scenes in the lenses themselves to add a level of narrative, and I really liked that effect, so that was something I carried on into the following pieces, as you will see. The materials I used were a dip pen and liquid non-waterproof Indian ink on watercolor paper, and occasionally a white gel pen. I've been playing around with dip pens this year, but I've only painted with ink a few times in my moleskin sketchbook. I thought there would be more of a learning curve, but I found it to be very similar to watercolor in the end. The next prompt was laudanum, which is an opium tincture that was widely used during the 18th and 19th centuries as a kind of household medication. I've been fascinated by laudanum ever since I read Dorothy Wordsworth's Grassmere Journals, and also A Passionate Sisterhood by Kathleen Jones, which is a biography of the circle of women involved with the Lake Poets. Many of them were completely dependent upon it by the end of their lives, and I find it really interesting how the discourse around it has been so gendered, essentially because it was something that hindered domestic productivity, whereas its use by men as a stimulant to creativity has just been outrightly romanticized. And we see the same thing played out in terms of race, with the opium wars and opium dens, and of course, the very prejudiced response to the opioid epidemic which we have witnessed over the past few decades. So for this painting, I wanted to represent something of the psychological experience of one of those women. I decided to show her in a dreamlike state, confined within a laudanum bottle, with her dress bleeding into the liquid below, which contains her visions and becomes a kind of seascape. I guess I was also playing with the idea of a ship in a bottle. And again, I was really enjoying embedding additional scenes into the drawings. Um, so yeah, this is definitely my favorite from the series.
The next prompt was Thames, and I immediately knew I wanted to incorporate the topographical shape of the river, which is pretty recognizable. And I was thinking about the Thames as kind of a center of industry, especially during the Victorian era. I had started reading Our Mutual Friend by Charles Dickens earlier this year, and the Thames is really at the heart of that story as this kind of dark, corrupting force. So I had the idea of a young gentleman, dandy type, maybe a kind of new money merchant who is feeling super oppressed by capitalism, I guess. And then I was concerned that it wouldn't be read as Thames, so I decided to incorporate scenes of the river at the top. I think because these are a different scale and quite sketchy, that they provide a nice visual counterpoint to the cleaner line work below.
The next prompt was specimen, and this one was really fun. I basically invented my own moths inspired by gothic literature. Um, I even came up with names for them and everything because I'm a big nerd. I just imagined a bunch of amateur lepidopterists going out onto the moors and discovering species whose wings bear an uncanny resemblance to various books. So the first one is Ecole's Holmesialis. The second one is Lamprosima collinsiae, and the third is Lamantria withensium. The clues are in the name, so if you guess which books they refer to, leave it in a comment down below.
And the last prompt was coronation. For this one, I knew I wanted to play on the silhouette portrait that the Victorians were pretty much obsessed with. And I actually found one of a young Victoria, which I used as a reference. I incorporated a version of her coronation crown, and just to add another level of interest, I decided to include a map of England over her chest, kind of in the place of lungs. To anyone who is from England, or is from the places in the UK that I cut out of the map, or is into maps and just cares about things being accurate in general, I am very, very sorry, <laughs> because this is the opposite of an accurate map. Um, I wanted to play on the idea of the monarch as the living body of empire, and also on the metaphor of rivers as the arteries of empire, which kind of calls back to the Thames piece, actually. So I showed those branching out from the center. I also wanted it to look like something that has been fractured or broken. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video.